Hello, I'm Tactical Pascal. Welcome to the channel. I hope this finds you all safe and well. In this Microsoft Flight Simulator video, I'm going to show you how to start up the BAE 146. Easy peasy. Let's get cracking. Okay, here we are in the cockpit of the BAE 146. Now, there's a few things we need to get going so we can start this up from code. Now, first things first, we're going to look forward to our radar. Now, this will be implemented in future, so we're going to include it in this check. You don't need to do it right now, but it's a good practice getting it. So, we're going to have it as off. Rotate the tilt round to 15 degrees. Then we're going to come to the back in between the seats and make sure that our transponder is on standby, which it is. And then we're going to check that our air brake is in. Make sure my control is abound there. And then the flaps, we want them in the up position. Easy. Next thing we're going to do is look to our electric panel and turn on battery one and battery two. Now once they are on, we're going to rotate this little volt amp to check that we've got voltage in it. So battery one is sitting there, about 27, battery two is about the same. Leave that to off. We're going to come across to the right. We're going to have no smoking on. Cabin emergency is armed. And we're going to put our navigation lights to high intensity. Easy so far. We're going to check that our gear is down and we have three green lights. That's fine. And check that we have our park and brake selected. Now this handle will be out pointing to the yell. So in, out. There we go. You don't need to offset. If it's out, you don't need to do that. I was just checking. I was just demonstrating what it looks like or when it's out. Once we've done that, we're going to go up and to the left to the miscellaneous panel. We're going to turn on your damper 1 and 2, autopilot master, and the avionics A and B should already be on. Underneath that, we have our anti-skid. We're going to turn that to on. Then we're going to turn on the yellow and green lift spoilers. We're going to come back to the electric panel. We're going to turn on the AC and DC bus ties. And we're going to turn on the standby inverter and the standby generator. Check that generator 1 and 4 are in the off reset position, which they are. And then we're going to get ready to turn on our APU. Now, our APU generator button is down here. We need to flick this forward twice. We then need to add fuel from the left inner pump to get it going and then turn on the APU. So APU generator up and up. Give it some fuel from the left inner pump and then hit start. Once that's started, you will see the APU power available or APU available in green light up here as that temperature rises. Once that's done, we're going to turn on the APU air and then we're going to start heating up the cabin. Now you can use pack one or two. It doesn't really matter, but you can do odd days, even days of the month, for example. So we're waiting on that APU spilling up. We're just watching it come around. So it will come around into the green then we'll have our APU, so it says fuel low pressure, it's about to go into the green, APU power is available, so we put APU air on, and I'll put pack 1 on. Once that's done, we're going to put on our ice detection, so uncage and click the ice detection on. And then we're going to come to the aft console, and we're going to engage our yaw dampers, which is next to the autopilot button, so click that button there. And before we get passengers, last thing we're going to do is open up the cockpit oxygen by just left clicking on there. And excuse me, Brenda, left click in there. Now we're ready to start getting our passengers on board. So I'm going to go aircraft. I'll put the forward passenger door open. And I'll select our stairs out because our immersion has to be real. Okay, while we're doing that, up to the fuel panel on the left here, center tank to transfer auto and then we're going to come across to our pressurization and we're going to set this to 24. Now that will give us a cabin pressure of five and a half thousand feet. Then we're going to check our fuel that we have on board. So we have fuel here in the left wing, right wing and then center. So we've got enough fuel here to get us easily to Edinburgh. Next thing we're going to do is come back. Let me adjust my head tracking so we can see it and I'll freeze it there. Now we can see our transponder. We want to put in our flight number. So I'm going to press ATC FID, so air traffic or flight ID. And I'll put uh, Charlie Mike 915. So I'm pressing 
to press the button wait for a second. Charlie. Mike. Ing. One. Five. Like ye oldie mobile phones. Then hit enter. Once that's done, we're going to configure our TMS for takeoff. Now we need to put power onto the TMS. It's quite loud. That. I'll, I'll turn the volume down the background as I think that's F-18s taken off from London City. So TMS is on. Then we're going to hit test. That's going to run through its test. And we'll see our N1 setting. Now we're going to set um, 18 degrees of flaps. So this is going to adjust our uh, V1 speed. So we're going to take off at 18 degrees. That's adjusted our V1 speeds. And then we're going to hit take off. We want an N1 of 93.7. And then we're going to hit power off. That's all sorted. Easy. Next up, we're going to turn on our flight director bars, which is actually going to let us use our autopilot. Turn on our radios. So our VHF nav, VHF nav there's on, and then turn on our actual comms at the back, which is one click. Good. Now at this point, uh, you tune your VOR into the uh, hit the VR that you want. You so you tune the frequency in and turn on your VHF nav radios. You would tune your heading to wherever you want it to go for your first waypoint. I'm not going to cover that, but all you do is obviously rotate your heading around and after your airborne hit your autopilot and away you go. What I will do is set our an arm at our height. So let's go up to, let's say we're going to go up to 26,500. And then we'll hit arm. So once we're airborne, we can start getting to the climb, put the autopilot on, and it'll take us up towards there. Now, We've got our passengers on, we need to get them, uh, need to get the ladders away. So what we need to do is set our AC pump switch to on. That's going to allow us to retract the stairs and then we're going to put the AC pump to off. So AC pump to on, that's on the MISC panel. Then we're going to come across, retract our stairs, that's providing the power to get those stairs in. I'm hearing them stowed, so I'm going to close the passenger door. And then... There we go. Their AC misc, or AC pump, back to the off position. So that is our aircraft boarded. We're going to close the door, which we've done. Putting the fasten seatbelt sign, and then we're going to put our beacon lights on because we're going to be starting the engine. So beacon to on. Now we can turn off our APU, air, turn the packs off. Now at this point, you could go for pushback and all that good stuff. Um, I'm not going to do that just now because it's going to take a while. So I'm just going to run through the engine startup. Now what you would do is obviously go for pushback with the engines off and then start them up. So we need to go up to our fuel panel which is handily under the fuel. Then we're going to put the remaining pumps on. Then we come across to our starter master. We're going to turn the starter master on. Rotate the dial down to number four, and then we're going to press engine start. And you'll hear that little beep, so the starter is operating. Check engine number four here. We can see the N1 going around, but it gets to 10%. We're going to look behind the throttle, and you see the little cut off you're just going to click that and that will allow that engine to spill up and the process is the same for the remaining engines but we have to wait until these lights go out and then flick it to number three start same process then number two start same process number one number one start same process so we're waiting on it round. it takes a little while we can see the engine there spilling up So engine one is on, so those lights went out, so engine three, rotate, engine start, starter is operating again, come to the back, when that gets to 10%, we're going to click the little cut off button, I can get my big head round with my track IR on. So engine three is coming on, then we're going to go two, 
and then one and obviously the ones that are up and running we want to check the temperatures are all sitting in the green nothing mad's happening and we still have our parking brake on so we're not going to roll forward into the terminal because that would be quite a bad situation so waiting on the lights going out and then we'll rotate the dial around to number two and do that process number two engine start now we're going to watch for 10% there's 10 come back crouch down and click the button I mean you can map these to buttons so it's easier to see um, I haven't because I just moved my head and make some sort of weird yoga shapes in my front room okay waiting on the engine again these three lights will go out now once we do that we'll turn off the starter and we're nearly ready to rock and roll Last one, start engine one, and then we're waiting on 10% again. Okay, there's our 10%. Click. And then our engine is going to rotate round, and that will be number one ready as well. After we've done that, we're going to turn on the APU air on again, and put both packs on and put brake fans to auto. So watching the engine, waiting on these lights going out and then we're going to come across here for our packs and the APU air. So rotate that to off, turn the starter master off, APU on, pack one and pack two on and then our brake fans are already in the on position. But we can put them to auto. Next thing is while we're here, we want engine 2 pump and engine 3 pump to the on position. And then we want our AT AC pump to auto, PTU to on. After we've done that, ice protection, turn on all our ice protection. And then we want our TMS on and to take off. So power on to take off. Transponder. Rotate that round to TA. Not too far. And then we are going to go Gen 1, Gen 4 on. Once that is done, set our flaps to 18. Then we're going to put our taxi lights on. And we'll give our cabin crew the call button. Cabin crew, please take your seats take off. And then we would taxi on out to the runway. Now you see here, it says flight recorder off, parking brake on, brake fan select on. Now the brake fan warning. Just put that back and it'll get rid of the warning. And then by releasing the brakes, it's going to extinguish all of our lights. Obviously, I'll put the brakes back on for now. That is the startup of the BAE 146. I will be doing more stuff on the channel with the 146. It's absolutely brilliant. A really great addition to the flight sim. If this video has helped, then you can, of course, help me grow this channel by clicking the like and subscribe button, sharing it with your friends and telling everyone how cool Tactical Pascal is. If you want to help support me even further, you can click on that Patreon link. You can keep me in coffee. Come along, be my wingman, have a look behind the scenes and see how all this content creation malarkey gets done. Or just find out a bit more about me, really. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Always a pleasure. Until next time, Tactical Pascal, out.